Yo, 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 Tito Indigo here. This is where we camped last night. We are at the top of Aguacero Falls in Chiapas, Mexico. 700 steps below is the waterfall. This is the resting area. This is the van. There's Sniper Shot and Jay. We're headed towards the cave now. Last night in the middle of the night, we got attacked by a bunch of ants in our tent for some reason. I mean like a bunch of ants. I woke up covered in ants. Our pants and all our clothes are drying. Jay, unfortunately, lost the drone. It. It's all good, though. We're going to keep trekking. We're going to keep doing it. Alright, so we had a little mishap last night. Uh, the drone accidentally flew into this canyon wall. And after that, Matt and I broke the tent pole, and at 5 a.m. we were covered in fucking ants. So somehow, Jay is gonna try and go up this steep wall to see if we can't find where the drone crashed. Looking for a drone, looking for a drone. Where could it be? This is the cave that you guys can't see because of how dark it is. We would like to carry out further, but we can't see anything. But here's the exit. <laughs> Anyways, that's been our morning. Woke up, ate some breakfast at the nearby restaurant here at the campgrounds. Walked down the 700 steps to try and find the drone. Couldn't find it. Ended up just kind of chilling in the water, taking photos, doing some music video stuff. 11-11 was a powerful day. We broke our tent. Lost the drone. We lost the drone. Met a Texan. Met a Texan? Oh, that's right. And got attacked by ants at 5 a.m. But that was already 11-12. <laughs> Last night, we met an older woman by the name of Ama. She had been camping here for the past five days at Aguacero Falls. Uh, she sang a couple songs, she was, she played folk music, she was really good at that. She was really cool. Uh, she told us she had been living here for the past six years and that she loves Mexico. It was just cool to hear her story and it turned out that she was from Corpus Christi. So that was even cooler. Uh, we're from Dallas, so we got a lot in common. Uh, we drank some tequila, played some music. It was a nice reprise. We honestly haven't gotten to meet very many people that are traveling or that, you know, her story is that she lives here pretty much now. So it was cool to meet another human being. We're on the way now to San Cristobal. Um, and I don't know, we're going to go maybe possibly bus, play some music. Yeah. See what's going on in the streets, you know? Let uh, them know what's up with these all-stars. Possibly do some laundry there. <laughs> possibly buy some groceries. Maybe eat. Hit the ATM. Hit the a Snipes has got to go hit an ATM. Need that dinero. Uh, we haven't really had service while we're out here either. So in order to get to Palenque, which is where we're trying to go next, we're going to have to find Wi-Fi there or something and uh, see if it works out, you know? To be honest, we're like just like halfway winking it at this stage because we like don't know exactly where we're going to stay and all that uh we were like kind of had a much better or better idea in like some of the earlier places we went but uh, definitely 
uh, yeah, we'll be on the internet soon. We'll get things sorted out, whatever. <laughs> we'll, we'll chill in San Cristobal, sip some, some, uh, coffee, you know, these boys could get them a juice or whatever. <laughs> yes, sir. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we planned the first, what, eight to, to nine day, days? This is day 12. But this is day 12 now, so, like, we haven't planned these last parts as much. We know we're headed to... The beach. The beach. Uh... The playa. Fuck, I'm forgetting the name of the place right now, Jay. Where are we going to in Yucatan? Quintana Roo. Quintana Roo. Tell them what's Tulum? Tulum. So, yeah, we're headed to... I don't know why I could not forget... I forgot the fucking word. All right. On the way, we're going to stop probably in Pelinque. And maybe Las Ruinas. And, um... Was it Campeche? Yeah, I think it's in Campeche after that. So, pretty much it. Ain't got no stresses. All right, people, we are in San Cristobal, small town in Chiapas, colonial-inspired buildings, Spanish influence. We stayed at a hostel last night while Jay slept in the van, and so far here, it's been a pretty good experience. We are walking towards the main street right now, towards the plaza to find an ATM for snipes. And as you can tell, there are cobblestone streets and small, narrow streets here. It's got this nifty Spanish hip vibe, lots of expats, lots of different people from lots of different walks of life. And, An overall pretty hip vibe. Drums and bass, just for a taste of the pure essence. The blessings we're requesting, let go with stress. Messes we might make, this life I take. Sweet like cake, not surprising when I sing. I chain, crystal hair wraps, hang, I blink. Double G go fast, we don't need no math. Huh. We on our path, rims keep rolling, earth we strong. This is San Cristobal Square. This is where the main stuff happens. There's a lot of restaurants, bars, clubs, shops, clothes. A really cool hip town. We kind of hung out here last night for a little bit. Checked out all the local art, local food. Here's a area right in front of the church where people perform. There's a lot of buskers here. The architecture here is really astounding. Really impressive. Well, this is it, y'all. This is San Cristobal. All right, our fearless driver, Jay, is navigating us through the tiny streets of San Cristobal. And, uh... We're on our way to Palenque. Cause my brother's like no other shout out to my mother. Oh, you see, it's a lot of smother. We eat and cook. Ain't got no stresses. I'm trying to be the best. What's up, guys? We're recording in the van. Tito Indigo, Sniper Shot, Jay's driving. We're over here recording some songs for the Fibonacci All Stars. We're recording while we're driving. We're in a traffic jam. We have no idea what's going on. Um, we're on yet another mountain. Got the computer set up. Got the interface. Go. We got my boy Blue. You're my boy Blue. And Chop Biggie's driving. Tito's filming, and I'm, I'm fixing to spit these bars. Adventure bros and adventure mode in Mexico. Dresses letting go. Underwater falls, living within the flow. As above, so below, so we are one. Love and truth, we behold the to we are done. Cause my past is ancient history, said, ain't got no stresses. I'm trying to be the best that I can be. Cause my past is ancient All right, yo, I was in the middle of recording two songs in the back of the van, uh, and we are like at some crazy traffic jam. I'm always rhyming. 
There's a ton of people. We're not sure what's going on. We might have run up on the caravan. I don't know. I only have like one more verse to record, but um, we're not sure what's going on, so it's probably best I'm not just sitting back here rapping like a stupid American. Yo, so that's twice on this one road that we've got hit up with these uh, like fake toll things. 200 a pop, yo. But that's the way it is. Van life, adventure bros, we're doing it. Mexico. It's like we stumbled upon a parade. All right, guys, it's been a rough couple days. But we are in good spirits and still together being epic. Adventure Bros, Mexico. Yep. Cheeto Indigo here. Two or three days ago at Aguacero, we got attacked by ants, lost the drone, and broke this old, well, not really that old, but old tent I've had. And today, or last night, here in Palenque, where we camped underneath this tin roof, the wind was so powerful that it pretty much killed the tent. So the tent is now dead and gone. Yesterday was a little bit trying. We went through some mountain pass and got clipped by an 18 wheeler trying to pass him on a windy road. And the bumper kinda got messed up, as you can tell. Luckily, it wasn't that bad. He only clipped this side of it. Um, the rest of the vehicle is undamaged, luckily. So we were very, very fortunate. Besides that, this is where we camped. This is Pelenque. It's close to some ruins in Chiapas. Some Mayan ruins. Um, very nice accommodations for camping. Very cheap. 40 pesos a night here. It's a pretty cool spot. It's like a jungle. Pretty much a jungle in here. There's a restaurant nearby. And it's just very lush here, very green. Everything's very green. After 14 days on the road, we're officially entering our third week, starting to today, I guess, or tomorrow. And um, honestly, we're kind of exhausted at this point we've seen a lot of things we've crammed a lot of days into not very much time and we still got more to do we're headed towards the loom now up to Yucatan and Quintana Roo okay tonight we're staying in Chetumal at a hostel that we already rented because our tents broken we might try and find a new tent before we head back to the States we're not sure we're not sure if it'll be cheaper to just Bite the bullet and uh, do hostels and cabins the rest of the way. But it's been kind of emotionally exhausting. We got extorted twice on the road by townspeople for money, about 200 vessels each time. So we spent 400 vessels going down these mountain roads just to get here. And uh, it was because of disputes the local townspeople had with the government, the indigenous people of Chiapas have been subjected to cruel and horrible, horrible things over the years. Um, a, a slavery complex that has built up over the years, akin to similar things that have happened in the states. A lot of racial tension here, indigenous tribes people feeling like they are really not part of Mexico, and Chiapas has pretty much the biggest indigenous population in Mexico. The rest of the government in Mexico knows that Chiapas has potential for money, economic growth, yet they are still suppressed. So there is a lot of tension in the area. It's honestly kind of scary driving through those towns where pretty much the whole community was outside waiting for us, asking for money. Um, but we were safe and we live to tell another day. So, today we move on to Palenque and we head towards Chetumal, finally hitting the beach. This is Tito Indigo and we are in Palenque.
situation changes day through the pain through the music we play music we creating stimulating debating loving and hating Man, I confess embodiment, rubber to the pavement to breathe in. Not succeeding in what we attempt, dunking all these buses to unkempt. Sean Kemp, Becky Coke van, life pitched the tent. No happiness, only thing blowing out our vent. Turquoise waterfall, stand tall for all. If you got the balls to go chase them dreams, to go chase them things that an ego hold dear in the woods with the Plants, bugs, and deer. The past in my rear, the present up ahead. Use my legs, heart, and head to be the best till I'm dead. So I don't care about the clothes you wear. Uh uh, we don't care, we don't care now. Nah. Rolling down this old road to share. And we roll, and roll, and roll. one of many complexes in the area in which ancient Mayans congregated. We're surrounded by a lush rainforest. Everything here is very green and overgrown. This part of the complex was used for social gatherings. Entrances below us. Look at this tree. Whoa. Wow. If you've ever watched the show Ancient Aliens, Belinke is one of the most talked about areas in the show. Perhaps they suspect alien encounters were often had by the Mayan people here in Belinque. And if you've ever seen the pictures, you have a lot of sacred geometry and ancient art around the whole complex. Snipe and chopper going up. And it seems that this is the palace at Palacio. The set of structures comprises the palace and is distributed around inner courtyards, forming a complex group of buildings, open spaces, corridors, underground galleries, drainage ducts, and a tower that could have been used as an observatory. The buildings usually have two passageways interconnected by doors and windows, mostly shaped as tribulated arches. This great structure is the end result of any number of architectural changes made over a period of more than 400 years. So here we go, more steps. Who would have thought? This is one of the main structures of Palenque. You cannot climb to the top. Well, look at how impressive it is. If you look to the left, you can see something that looks like a temple, a church of some sort, where probably they, I don't know, mm, performed rituals, spoke to the higher deities that they believed in. 
or maybe just kind of hung out there. <laughs> Who's to say? Ain't got no stresses. I'm trying to be the best ever.